Hello, Daryl Christopher Payne back here again to demonstrate another historic musical instrument for you. So today we're going to talk about the Renaissance flute. So uh, the flute's one of the oldest instruments uh, that's been around for a long time. Almost every culture has some type of instrument that they could call a flute. A long to blow through, make sound. So this was a common instrument during the, it's called Renaissance flute because it was common during the Middle Ages and Renaissance era in Europe. And this one, as you can see, is basically just a long wooden tube, has six finger holes and a blow hole. Um, very rudimentary compared to the modern flute with all its keys. Um, this is a tremendously difficult instrument to tune. Um, and a lot of the notes, uh, accidentals, we call sharps and flats, are also all are um, played by half finger holds. Like to get it really in tune, you have to cover half the hole with part of your finger. So they're really difficult to tune, especially when you get more than one. Um, our, my early music group, Loud and Musicum, has a matched set that was made by a Canadian flute maker, a bass flute, three, ren three tenors, and an alto. And uh, they play really well together. Before that, we played different flutes made by different instrument makers, really hard, difficult to tune. So um, we're grateful to have that matched set. So this instrument would have been probably used more of in a minstrel way uh, to play ballads, um, small group settings. It wouldn't have been any kind of orchestral instrument because it was just so hard to tune and because it has a very soft sound. It doesn't have the loud volume. Uh, it wasn't until the 18th century that they started adding keys to improve the tuning um, and the volume issue. And I'll show you the Baroque flute um, another time where they did start adding keys and started solving some of those tuning issues. But it does have a really good sound, and um, so I really want you to hear it. So I'm going to start with a tune that's attributed to King Henry VIII of England. He may or may not have actually written it. He was a noted musician. But hey, if you're the king and you say you wrote it, then you wrote it. So it was called Pastime with Good Company. simple little ditty from the early Tudor era. This piece comes from the later Tudor area, era, uh, the time of Queen Elizabeth I. Thomas Morley, very popular musician during the time of Elizabeth I. And this is a song called Fair in a Morn. So one thing that's different about this flute is there's no, on the modern flute, you have the little plate where you set your um, lips and get your uh, mouth set. You also play with a more relaxed embouchure on the modern flute. With this, you have to really make a, a round form with your lips. It's have really tight airflow. Um, also, it's more of a circular airflow with this instrument where you're pulling air out and blowing in at the same time. So 
it's, a, it's really hard for those of us who play these extort flutes to play this and then turn around and pick up a modern flute at, in the same day. <laughs> it's very challenging to try to do that because they really are played very differently. Um, next is a piece from a little later on here in England. This would be from the time of James I, the early 17th century, early 1600s. And this is a song that would have been popular around Christmas called Sweet Was the Song the virgin sung when she to Bethlehem was come and was delivered of her son that blessed Jesus hath to name. And it's a lullaby song. It's attributed to John Atty, who was um, a composer in the early 1600s in England. that was really difficult to play. That was one case where I had to have a half finger hold in order to get that G sharp to play in tune. Um, and last I want to finish with some pieces from 17th century France. Um, I really like, there's a lot of really good French music that was written for the flute in the Baroque period. Um, this is a piece called from Selections from a piece called Symphony de Noëls, the Symphony of Noëls, which were short Christmas tunes that were very popular in France. And this was put together by Michel Richard de Lalande, very prominent during the time of King Louis XIV, 17th century France. And I'm just going to play a few selections from this. Um, this is my favorite piece to play on this. I think it really brings out the sound, beautiful sound of this instrument.
the Renaissance flute, and this is the tenor Renaissance flute. Next time I'm going to show you the bass Renaissance flute. Uh, it's bigger, lower sound, very unique instrument. Uh, thanks for watching.